Grace and peace to you. The Daily Feast from Feasting on the Word for today, Saturday, March 13th, returns to John 3, uh, verses 14 through 21. Just as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, so must the Son of Man be lifted up, that whoever believes in him may have eternal life. For God so loved the world that he gave his only Son, so that everyone who believes in him may not perish, but may have eternal life. Indeed, God did not send the Son into the world to condemn the world, but in order that the world might be saved through him. Those who believe in him are not condemned, but those who do not believe are condemned already because they have not believed in the name of the only Son of God. And this is the judgment, that the light has come into the world, and people loved darkness rather than light, because their deeds were evil. For all who do evil hate the light, and do not come to the light so that their deeds may not be exposed. But those who do what is true come to the light, so that it may be clearly seen that their deeds have been done in God. Here ends this reading of God's holy word. And here is a very brief reflection on it. What if, instead of signing on to a program that would limit God's love to the insiders, to the believers who walk in the light, a prophetic voice were raised instead to imagine a world in which God's love is at work yet again among the oppressed? the outsiders. Those were the reflections of Paul Shoup. And for your own reflection, you might ask yourself, who are the insiders and who are the outsiders who need God's love? Let us pray. Show me the ways my prophetic voice is needed in your world. Amen. God's blessing be on you today. Amen.